Hey, and welcome back to The Dave Shadell Show. This week, we have a career fair coming up on Wednesday, so we figured we'd give you some shadoos and shadoons of how to get a job. We also have a news segment for you called Driving Mr. Dave. And now, we're going to head over to Dave and Bust It, where we go and talk to people about their careers and their dream jobs. Career fair is coming up this week. Are you planning on going? I wasn't planning on it. This is the first I've heard about it. Well, are you going to go? Maybe I will. You should. That's where you find a career. Okay. We wanted to ask you what your major is. Business. And did you always grow up planning on being a business major? No, I didn't. I wanted to be an actor for a long time. Yeah. Then I wanted to be a funeral director and business stuck with it. So So are you still wanting to be a funeral yep, director? Yep, that's the plan. Can you explain to us how one wants to be a funeral director? Like at what point in your life are you like, hey, I want to hang out with dead people. What, what is your major? Christian Ministries. Christian Ministries. And what do you want to do with that? I actually want to work in a funeral home someday, that, which I kind of see as a ministry. So that would be I'm great if you could find a guy who was into that too. I know, if only. What did you want to be when you were a little kid? A sewage maintenance man. I heard it on a television show once and it sounded like a cool job description. I had no idea what it was. All right, five, ten years down the road, you're like, all right, I need a new job. And you can choose any job you want. What job do you take? Anything. You gotta be a matador. A matador. Matador. Because those are like Spanish clowns. Yes, sort of. I mean. Except you know. for you're putting your life on the line to murder a bull. Who would you want your manager to be from the Bible? I haven't really thought that through. I should have. <laughs> you can't think of one right now? God. He's in the Bible. That's true. God is my boss. Hey. Amen. <laughs> um, probably for National Geographic, I would choose Adam because he knows all the animals. <laughs> yeah. In the Garden of Eden. So. so. Or Noah. Or Noah. Because he knows animals. Too. And he knows about traveling and, and surviving. I don't know, man. Maybe like uh, Samson. He's very intense. You know, he could he could motivate me to do things. You know. So, but if you're like, oh, I can't make this deadline, are you gonna like sneak over to his house and cut his hair off? I might. <laughs> and then be like, ah, boss, you can't Possible. stop me. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll coax him with like a dead lion's body. <laughs> me and a friend were very hungry, so we decided to go look for some food. Along the way, we decided to discuss philosophy and try and meet a girl named Kelsey. Next up, driving Mr. Dave. Are we live? I'm Cameron. Uh, I'm a writer for the Shadell Show. Just so you people. No, actually... he is a participant in the event. Supper? Um, yes. Where are you thinking? Cause magical nom noms sound great. And I started following this bookstore downtown on Instagram, and they're posting pictures of new books that are coming out. <laughs> and I'm like thinking, how can I earn enough money to go buy books that I don't have time to read? Like, I have like the same book on my shelf that I've told myself the to Bible? read. The Bible. <laughs> yes, the Bible. It, Les no. Mis, yeah, uh, I totally read that book. I'm just going to assume Hugh Jackman has told me everything I need to know about Les You mean Les Mis or blah, blah, blah? Les Mis. So also, while we're on this video, am I supposed to try and meet other women that drive by? Is that, yeah, uh-huh. Can we She's a Greenville up? Tech student, so... And she's cutting us off. Oh, Kelsey! 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 She's got her name. She, her, name is, <laughs> her name is on the license plate. Come we on, pull know. up next to her. I want to talk Kelsey. to Kelsey. Were we supposed to talk about something? Uh, we use resolutions. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey Can we talk this? about brag of resolutions? Do we have uh -huh. those like where people are like, this year I resolved to lose another three hundred pounds because last year I lost four hundred. Exactly. Uh, All right, we got two orders. My New Year's resolution usually is just to not mess up with the next year. Tell us about your girl, Cameron. I don't have a girl, David. Is that what you messed up with? This is love advice with David and Cameron. Because <laughs> you have to be first because it's your show. Girls, if you like a boy, walk up, smack him. <laughs> this year, try to be healthier. Something broad, so that way, if I decide to like... As we're sitting here shoving cookout. As we get a shoving cookout, I've decided to eat healthier. I have a question. Why do we not get milkshakes? Oh. That would have been good. Because we're trying to eat healthy, David. <laughs> we just ate fried food covered in cheese and dipped in sugar sauces. And Gosh, now on the campus of Bob Jones University. We are rolling around locations. Have on to... your right, we have the classic tree by the yield sign. We try and talk about New Year's resolutions. We Guys, tried. resolve to figure out what you're doing with resolutions. 
Amen. With all the pressure of career fair, we figured we might as well give you guys some shadoos and shadoons to help you through this tumultuous time. Do bring several copies of your resume to hand out to potential employers. Don't staple any money to the top of your resume. Turns out that's actually called bribery. Three years in juvie will teach you that, kids. Do make sure your social media is up to par. Keep your LinkedIn connected, make sure your Facebook looks professional, even keep Twitter on looking good. But don't worry too much about Snapchat or Instagram. No employer is going to care that you used hashtag no filter on last night's sunset. Do go to the career fair with friends. Have a good time. Don't go with just one friend of the opposite gender. Because next thing you know, some small camp in Wyoming is offering you and your new wife a six-month internship. Thanks so much for tuning in this week, guys. And hopefully, you all do well at this upcoming career fair. Best of luck. Go get a job.